but I think when it comes to hologram, I think simplicity is the best to me. Yeah. So Dion, let's deep dive straight into it. Okay, what was your favorite content campaign? Okay, my favorite content campaign was I think what we did two or three years ago for Gardens by the Bay. So we did their hologram installation in their Cloud Forest basement. Their theater, I think, is part of their show. You know, the objective is to actually send this message that you know we can be environmentally friendly by you know Gardens by the Bay can be environmentally friendly despite of having this very large structure and a lot of lights and they can actually portray that we can actually learn from nature and how they manage their electricity, their water is actually from nature. So that that's I thought that that is quite interesting, you know, to, to jump on this campaign and the process I think is of course the very first thing that we have to do was to study, right? How whole document about Gardens by the Bay works, right? And after that study, then some will try to help with the script. From the script, we try to narrow it down, you know, like we try to see what are the difficult terminologies and what, how can we translate this into a very easy terms for our, the more general audience. So once that is done, it's pretty standard, then we just move into the storyboarding. Then after the storyboarding and we then move to the treatment. So we call it style frames in animation studio or motion graphics. So style frames is essentially what the client can expect for the final animation. So without having to go all the way into like full on production, we just create a few so-called like a look and feel for them to actually see how it's going to look like, how the end product is going to be before we actually jump into the full production. So moving on to the end result and the outcome, would you say that it actually accomplished what the client brief wanted and what you guys set out to achieve? Did it accomplish that? Yeah, I think at the end of the campaign, everybody kind of liked the, how things turn out, right? Because how simple it is, right? We can turn each of uh, every documentation into this very simple each of the scene it could be very simple in, in, in telling their stories and in telling how things work at Gardens by the Bay So would you say Dion was the campaign fresh or a failure? Of course it's a fresh campaign Of course our uh, confidence man of course it's a fresh campaign <laughs> It's not like a new new thing right hologram is already been done quite many many times but I think we just enjoy the process for, for this campaign Do you have any nuggets of wisdom for people who actually want to embark on holographic campaigns. What do they need to look out for or what are the pitfalls you can share with them so that they can avoid? We designed quite an extensive scene for the 3DS, you know, because we are used to this traditional animation. But I think when it comes to hologram, I think simplicity is the best to me, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Dion, for being on The Other F Words, you know. Maybe in future, we can, we can make this a holographic animation. Who knows? Oh! But anyway, I appreciate your insights on 3D animations and also holographics and holograms, to be specific. I will see you in the future, Dion.